Hello, welcome to Have A Go, and I'm Alan. Today we're going to do, hopefully, the last castings for the shaper. This will be a double roll with simple bedding. Actually, tell a lie. It's going to be no roll if I play my cards right. Right, these are the patterns. I didn't make any video of making these patterns up because they're just wooden blocks glued together, so who cares? Yep, that'll work. This will be the gate, and this will be the feeder. I'm deliberately making the feeder big because I also want a, a 35mm ingot to machine down for a hub. Never fails to amaze me how sand can look dry, but it's actually at just the right moisture content as you want it dry enough that you're not going to get steam problems when the hot metal hits the sand but you also want it wet enough that the clay in the sand will bind everything together if like me you've never you don't have someone who's done this on hand in person to help you with your sand yeah, moisture level it's one of those things you really have to work out through experience and, ex and experiment. Alright, pouring basin. Alright. Right, these to get them out. Now to see if I've been wasting my time or not. Well, initial signs point to promising. Now this is what we've got to work with, so the first order of business will be the bandsaw. So I'll be right back. Well, time for the mill I'd say. Okay, lesson for today, hand tight is enough. You do not need to crank cronk down on this thing. These are the castings. I've left, I've left some meat on them because I can always take it off but I can't put it back on. So I don't need those right this second. Right, I need two of these. This one goes with those, so one of these will go here, the other one will go here. I'm tempted to face off the front of this so it's a better fit, because this is a machine surface, this is not. Right, now we've got machine surfaces, out from the back. Oh, they sit nicely. Right, need two M6 holes going through here. So I'll drill a couple of pilots first. So 
Sorry, I forgot to move the camera. I've tapped and bolted this side, so now I'm doing this side. of my M6 bolts. Oh, and that's the bearing lead screw bearing blocks on. Next week we'll be drilling the holes through there and making up the lead screw to go through it. That's all I've got time for, for for this weekend, so thank you for watching and have a nice day.